I think there are two kinds of people. I mean, and, and maybe this sounds uh, pompous. I, I don't know. You'll tell me. But there are people who really, when they hear something, when they realize there's something they don't know, are thrilled. Yeah. And there are people who are, when they realize there's something they don't know, are 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 upset. I think. Yeah. And because the thrill, the fact that there's so much more to know about the world is what keeps me going personally sure. every day. In some sense, I I kind of think that's the difference between religion and not. In the sense that, <laughs> in the sense that the thrill of not knowing. Well, yeah. And Feynman said that. I, you know, well, I'm not afraid of not knowing. And my, I think that. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard the ten to one model I've to do on fire eating. No. Um, but I have a. This was, and I, I, this is. This is just bragging. Okay, good. Uh, I just did it too, so it's good. Uh, Feynman. Uh, mm. There was the, there was the monologue that closed our show on Broadway, uh -huh. closed our show off Broadway, mm -hmm. and we did it also before that in, in in L.A. And it was a final monologue I did about how to eat fire. I taught okay. people how to eat fire. Okay. And I talked about what the carnival meant to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a section in there, which mm -hmm. I, I won't do the whole thing, was I said uh, people often think that, uh, that uh, scientists are... Uh, don't like the mystery, want to end the mystery. And the fact is, scientists are the ones that love the mystery. Yeah, sure. The people that don't like the mystery, the people that when there's a mystery there, they just believe the first thing they're told. Yeah. Or they make up something and believe that. Mm -hmm. Or they believe anything they hear on Oprah. Yeah. Just anything to shut out the mystery and stop them from thinking. You know, what scientists want is more mystery. It's the opposite. It was a whole monologue. Yeah, yeah, sure. And it all culminates in teaching how to eat fire. It's all about oh, fire. I love that. Okay. And it's the fact of does it take away the mystery to explain the physics of fire eating, doing that whole thing. And Feynman mm -hmm. uh, saw us accidentally. Mm -hmm. We were playing a hundred seat theater mm -hmm. in Hollywood before anybody knew who we were. And he introduced himself as Richard Feynman and almost passed out. <laughs> I didn't know how big a deal he was, yeah. but the deal I thought, thought he was was, was enough. Yeah. And he said, um, I mean, I mean, uh, I may cry saying it yeah. now. Feynman said, your final monologue is what I've been trying to explain to my wife for 20 years. Oh, wow. And I never got her to understand it. Oh. And he said, she understood it tonight with you eating that fire. He said, it is the most perfect description of science ever. Oh. And then three weeks later, Feynman showed up with eight Nobel Prize winners. winners. <laughs> to hear the, to hear. He signed up and he, he came up afterwards and said, this may be the largest concentration mm -hmm. of Nobel Prize right. winners in a magic show ever. In a magic show. <laughs> <laughs> and none of them can figure out the, the magic. <laughs> don't, not, don't. <laughs> fool them. Don't, don't fool them. Yeah. But he said that that description, that monologue, was what he was trying to say. That it's it was not, it's not closing down yeah. mysteries. Yeah. And there's... Every time you read this anti-atheist stuff yeah. of scientists think they have all the answers, yeah, it, you just not, go, what are you, what are you talking what about? about yeah. Religion people think they, they have, have all, all the answers. answers. Exactly. And, they've got all the answers. And like you don't even have a path to all the answers. Yeah. We don't, don't even know what there. the questions are. You don't even have a path there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you solve every single thing you're working on yeah. right now, you can't even measure that you've it's, gotten closer. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>